Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Supply Aid KN95 face mask. These masks are made in China and here is the Amazon listing. They're currently $5.99 for a 5 pack with a 4.4 out of 5 rating and over 90,000 reviews. So here is how they look. They are an all black KN95 and this is how they look from the inside. The nose wire is actually pretty standard. It could be a bit stronger, but it's not bad. And these are the straps. So let's go ahead and see how these fit. So let me just play around with the nose wire. So I am getting a good seal up here with the nose wire, but I'm not getting a great fit just because this is a little bit on the larger side for me i am getting quite a bit of leakage on the bottom part of the face mask and one thing one last thing i do wanted to point out is that the fabric is a little prickly to the skin so i am getting a little bit of an itching sen sensation so one of the reasons why i do the fit test is so you guys can kind of get a quick reference on how they fit on my face but the fit is going to be different for everyone so the most important thing that you guys should take away from these videos are the TSI test results. So with that being said, we're going to be doing the TSI testing on these masks. We're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample had a filtration percentage of 99.52 with a pressure drop of 11.4 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.46 and a pressure drop of 10.4 millimeters of water. So we're back now and as you guys saw, these K95 passed the filtration efficiency with a 99.46%. The pressure drop was 11.4 millimeters of water, which we typically like to see 10 millimeters of water or under, but these are still within the K95 requirements. So as I mentioned, these weren't a good fit for me. They were a bit on the larger side and like I said, the material just wasn't as comfortable, but that doesn't mean that they are not a good fit for you. They are a good standard K95 face mask. So I really I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next or if you would like to send us a mask or respirator for us to test, please make sure to look at the description box. We're going to be leaving our address along with our website which is acumen.com and our message testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in our next video.